Go, boys. Praise the Lord and pass the ammunition. Praise the Lord and pass the ammunition. Praise the Lord and pass the ammunition. Praise the Lord and pass the ammunition and we'll all stay free. Shalom Yasharala, Shalom Yasharala, first and foremost, call Layam La, Albanawa, Yahawah, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekakradash. Double honors to the elders and elder apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Akiam out there on the highways and the byways. Salutations to the hopeful elect. Salutations to you speckled birds, you Israelite foreigners, and a strong Shalom to the aqua sitting and listening in silence as the scriptures say to do so. Okay, this is your brother, Amoth Ya'ais from Yahawada. Amoth Ya'ais from Yahawada. All right, coming at y'all with another beautiful lesson. Salaki, another beautiful lesson. Uh, I don't want Ratazah. Maybe a quick hit, maybe not. There goes the phone again, man. Jeez. We're going we're gonna to disregard it, man. Let's keep on going. All right, so uh, uh, I don't want right to Zai, man. You edified off of this beautiful lesson. Um, we're gonna go into uh, the mark of the beast because this uh, silverback uh, cave monkey uh, has that uh, that complex that he's God. You know that nobody, that no nation, no people is above him on the face of the earth. That he uh, is basically uh, godlike. He has that mentality that uh, he wants everybody to worship him, to bow down to him. You know, etc. Man. All right, so you know, Salakia. So we're going to get to it, Israel. We're going to bring out. We're going to bring out a few precepts. And I don't want to wrap this out. You edified off of this. Okay, the true men of the Lord already know what the mark of the beast is. But, you know, we, we, we still got to keep on pushing this man to, you know, make this known what it is, man. All right, so I don't want Ratazah. I pray and I hope that you're edified off of this. So let's go to Habakkuk. Let's open it up with Habakkuk. Habakkuk chapter two, because this is this is uh, his mind frame, man. You know, and you know you know what they say, man. They always say, what is what is that saying, man? Praise the Lord and pass the ammunition. And then they say, Wee -ee -ee. they go, they, they basically say like, praise the Lord and pass the ammunition. Wee -ee -ee. Fucking cave monkeys, man. These silver silver back cave monkeys, man. All right, this is Hebrews chapter 2, verse 5, straight to the point. Yea, also because he transgresseth by wine, he is a proud man. Yea, also because he transgresseth by wine, he is a proud man. Neither keepeth at home, who enlargeth his desire as hell. Neither keepeth at home, who enlargeth his desire as hell, and is as death and cannot be satisfied okay but gather onto him all nations and heap onto him all people man okay so this cave this silverback cave monkey is not uh, uh satisfied with this portion that he has man he wants everything he wants more he wants people to bow down to him to to to, to uh, uh to uh worship him to say that he is god man Okay, he wants all nations to worship him. He wants everything. He wants your resources, everything that you got. He wants it for himself, man. Okay, because he, uh, this, this cave monkey, see himself as Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, he's he's already, you know, took our book and put his image in it. Okay, let's go to Proverbs, because this man, this man will not be satisfied. He has to be put down, man. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai has to come back and put this man down, man. This man is, is the uh, perfect definition of destruction, death, and, and so forth, man. Everything that brings chaos and, uh, and, and wickedness, this man is a pure example of it. All right? All right, this is Proverbs chapter 30. Proverbs chapter 30, starting off at verse 12 and then at 14. There is a generation that are pure in their own eyes. Listen, listen to this, Israel. There is a generation that is pure in their own eyes and yet is not washed from their filthiness. Woo, who is this describing? 
Let's read that again. There is a generation that it's like it. There is a generation that are pure in their own eyes and yet is not washed from their wick from their filthiness. Mm -mm, I'm excited. Let's read that again. There is a generation that are pure in their own eyes and yet is not washed from their filthiness. There is a generation. Oh, how lofty are their eyes and their eyelids are lifted up. Okay, verse 14, there is a generation whose teeth are as swords and their jaw teeth as knives to devour the poor from off the earth and the needy from among men. Who is this, man? These silverback cave monkeys, man, that's who this is, man. Okay, the damn devil himself, Esau eating the so-called Caucasian white man. Okay, which you're not white, you're red, you're different shades of pink, man. Okay, this man has so much uh, 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 corruption in his mind to destroy the earth and to destroy the needy and the poor, man. And then while he's doing it, he's lifting himself up, bo bo uh, uh, boasting himself, man, and all his filthiness, man. Okay? Because this man has the mind. His, his end game is to uh, brand you, man. That's that's the whole, the whole format of this RFID chip is to brand you. To say that you're his cattle, man. You're his possession. You belong to him. You belong to him, Salakia. That's basically what they're attempting to do right now with this, uh, you know, NWO. Okay, let's let's say it like that. That's what they're attempting to do, Israel. Okay, let's go to Revelation chapter six, because like I said, man, this man, this man is the uh, perfection of death, man. Okay, this man does his job well. This man is the wicked. Okay, the, the, the conqueror of death and, and, and the saints are the righteous branch, the life. Okay, the, the saints bring forth righteousness, life, structure. Okay, judgment. Okay, all right, this is Revelation chapter 6, verse 4. And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that, that sat thereon to take peace from the earth. And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given him to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth, and that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword, man. A blessing. Okay? That is a blessing from, uh, it was given to him mainly by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. But who was Isaac in that time? Okay? Isaac was, uh, you know, roughly paraphrasing, he was Yahweh Shai, but he was Isaac at that time. Okay, let's expound on that. Let's go to Genesis real quick. Let's prove that that sword is, was given to uh, Evil E. Okay, and I'm just going to read, I'm not going to read the whole precept. I'm just going to read the point. Okay, I'm going to read the point, not the whole precept, just the point. Just to establish the point. And it's going to be in verse 40 in the first line. Uh, Genesis chapter 27, verse 40. And by thy sword shalt thou live, and shalt serve thy brother. And by thy sword shalt thou live, and serve thy brother, man. So these cave monkeys, these, these silverback gorillas, live by the sword, man. Okay, all their problems, all their issues, and all their situations, they use the hammer. And what is the hammer? Their sword, man. That's all they know. They don't, they don't know righteousness, man. They can't do righteousness. They were created to be wicked, man, to be evil, to be the, the sword, to be deaf on the earth, man, to take life from the earth, man. That's their creation, man. Okay? And they, the uh, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah has uh, put so much pride in these devils that they think they're the most high. Okay? So what is their end game to make you cattle, to, to brand you with that RFID microchip to make you their property, man? Which, you know, furthermore, you're already their property right now. They just want to, uh, uh, what's the word I can use right here? I guess, I, I guess we can just say that they just want to make you basically confess that they're your God and that you, uh, belong to them. So they want you to confess it. Now they want you to kneel down on your knees and, and uh, take whatever that, whatever they offer you, man. Okay. All right, so let's go to First Maccabees, cause like I told you, these cave monkeys, man, 
they've always had in their minds since the uh, old days of them being uh, the Heavenly Father and His Son, man. So let's go to 1 Maccabees chapter 3, straight to the point. Verse 48. And laid open the book of the law wherein the heathen had sought to paint the likeness of their images. And these silverback cave monkeys, okay, these silverback gorillas are the only nation on the earth that have done this, man. Okay, since that, since that Greek captivity and now, they're the only nation that has done this, man. Okay, and there's uh, precept upon precept, line upon line that states you're not supposed to take out from the book or add on to it. Okay, so these cave monkeys are, are guilty of, of numerous acts, man. Even stuff we don't even know that will, that will be revealed to us in the kingdom to come. All right? All right, so let's keep on going. Let's go to Isaiah chapter 14 because this is, this, is, this is what they say, man. And this is what they believe in their heart. And your heart is your mind. Okay, they truly believe this, man. All right, this is Isaiah chapter 14. We're going straight to the point, starting off at verse 13, ending at 14. For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of the Most High. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High, man. And this cave monkey truly right now, okay, right now, he literally feels that nobody can take him down, nobody will bring him down, that his kingdom is going to reign from generations to generations, man, okay? And furthermore, he just needs to, uh, uh, you know, clarify it to every nation by uh, uh, establishing his wickedness and by bringing that great wrath, you know, on... Uh, all nations but furthermore on the house of israel first and foremost all right okay so let's go ahead and get that because uh yeah how is gonna uh put the spirit on these uh silverback gorillas and they're gonna have no mercy man i mean they already have no mercy but it's gonna be like a like 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 the scripture says in matthew 24 like a time not no nor seen ever before the foundation of the world man all right, this is Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down onto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he have but a short time. And they notice, man. They see the uh, the chariot sightings, what they call them, UFOs. We call them uh, IFOs, I I I Identified Flying Objects, which is the chariots of the Most High, our Heavenly Father, Albanawa, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, that's our salvation, man. Swing low, sweet chariot, take me on home, man. Roughly paraphrasing the song. All right? So these cave, these cave dwellers, these hyenas, they know that they have a short time to, to push their agenda, man, which they're not going to be able to fulfill, man. So let's go ahead and get Job on that. And this is the spirit, man. Because this was meant to be quick, but the spirit is taking over because the spirit wants me to bring out, well, Salaka, Yahweh Bashin, Yahweh Shah wants me to bring out certain precepts to remind brothers, man. All right, this is Job chapter 20, verse 23. When he is about to fill his belly, the Most High shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him and shall rain it upon him while he is eating, man. So we got that 10% steak cooked, 5% on each side, bloody as hell potatoes, you know, probably green beans or some type of vegetable corn on the cob, you know, a little, little uh, piece of bread to go with it. Uh, 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 you know, these, they wicked. So they might have, you know, a little, uh, 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 a glass of wine, maybe, or a glass of, uh, uh, child's, you know, child's, uh, you know what I'm talking about. You know, as soon as he about to cut in that steak, put that napkin right here, about to cut in that steak and put it in his mouth, boom, it's a wrap. It's a wrap, Israel. All right. And let's get back. Let's go to Ezekiel. Because they truly think this in their heart, man. They truly think that they are the most high, man. Okay. All right. This is Ezekiel chapter 28, starting off at verse 1, ending at 2. The word of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, came again unto me, saying, Son of man, say unto the prince of Tyrus, Salakia, forgive me. Babu Bushal Salakia. 
Son of man, say unto the prince of Tyrus, Thus saith Yahweh power, because thine heart is lifted up, and thou hast said, I am I am a God, I sit in the seat of God, in the midst of the seas, yet thou art a man, and not God, though thy set thine heart as the heart of God, man. They set they sought their heart as if they're the most high, man. They truly believe in their in their wicked abominable heart that nobody can bring them down. They are the most high. They call the shots, man. They controlling everything. <laughs> well, you're not. You're cave monkey, you're not. Let's go to 2 Thessalonians. All right, this is 2 Thessalonians chapter two, and I'm gonna read it ver verbatim. I'm gonna read it verbatim. All right, 2 Thessalonians chapter two, verse four. Who oppose and exalt himself above all that is called the most high, or that is worship so that he is as the most high, sit up in the temple of the most high, showing himself that he is God, man. And this cave, this cave hyena has uh, uh, exalted himself above the clouds, man. Okay, made uh, his skyscrapers touching the sky. Okay, made his satellites and, and put them in the atmosphere to look all around the world to, to, uh, to portray that he has the eyes like the most high, like, like the most high Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has. Okay? He's done so many things, man. So many things, man, that he that he's gonna be judged for. That he's gonna be brought down for. Alright? Alright, so let's go to Revelation chapter 13. Let's let's get that precept out of Revelation. And we ain't done, we ain't done after that. We're just gonna get that precept and then we're gonna expound on that more. Okay? All right, this is Revelation chapter 13, starting off at verse 13. <clears throat> Salaki, as a matter of fact, let's start off at, uh, let's start off at verse 12. And he exercised of all the power of the first beast before him and caused the earth and them that, and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed, okay? And he doeth great wonders, so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men, and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles, which he have power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound, which had the wound by a sword and did live. Okay, so the miracles that he's going to be able to do is is, is this artificial intelligence man this technology man because we know this cave monkey is not spiritual this is not a spiritual mark there's nothing spiritual about this silverback gorilla okay nothing whatsoever spiritual about this silverback gorilla man okay he is carnal his blessing is carnal stop the bullshit jake you niggas that's out there talking about it's a spiritual mark and talking about it's Christianity, John 3.16, and as long as you work with worship this man's doctrine is all, all so go in the store and see if you can buy saying I worship the beast. I'm a Christian. I worship the philosophies of the so-called white man. See if you can go and buy in the store, man, you stupid niggas, man. Let's cut it, man. Let's cut it, man. So lock you for the language, man. It's just infuriate, man. When it's plain as day to see that this this is what it is, man. The RFID microchip is the mark of the beast, man. Okay? Sweden, the 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 um the country, land, whatever the hell you call it, Sweden is a, a prime example of a test run being shown right now to the whole world, man. Okay? And as soon as, as soon as they clarify that that test run is 100% to go for the rest of the world, it's a wrap. What are you going to do then, Jake? Is it going to be spiritual then? Is it going to be physical? It's always been a physical mark because this man is carnal, man. There's nothing spiritual about this cave monkey, man. All right, read now in verse 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed, man. So what do you think those concentration camps are for? What do you think are all those guillotines that they bought years back for? You think this man is playing about his, his uh, NWO? No, he is not playing, man. He knows that he has a short time, okay, to do this, man. And he wants to control the population. Go ahead and pull up the uh, Georgia Godstones, man. This is not a game, Jake. This is not entertainment. We are not here to, 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 sh 
uh, uh, chuck and jive for you, to make you laugh, to, to make you feel uh, good about cussing this uh, cave monkey out. This is not a game, man. Nothing about this is a game, man. And you, you, you two third niggas, you're going to find out pretty soon, man. All right, verse 16. And he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive in their right hand or in their foreheads. Salakia, I missed, I missed the precept. I'm excited. And he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads and that no man might buy or sell save he that have the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name here is wisdom let him that have understanding count the number of the beast, for it is a number, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six, man. Six, 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 man. We know everything is of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. You're not gonna be able to see it, man. So it is what it is, man. Let's keep on going though. Let's go to first, let's go back to first Maccabees. Let's go back to first Maccabees, because this this is what these cave monkeys is, is, is saying. And this is what they doing. Alright. Alright, this is first Maccabees chapter one, starting off at verse 41, ending at 42. Moreover, King Anti Antiochus, if I'm saying that wrong, Salakia, King Antiochus wrote to his whole kingdom that all should be one people wrote to his whole kingdom that all should be one people and and everyone should leave his laws so all the heathen heathen agreed according to the commandment of the king moreover king antiochus wrote to all so like he wrote to his whole kingdom that all should be one people and everyone should leave his laws, so all the heathen agreed according to the commandment of the king. Yea, many also of the Israelites consented to his religion. Yea, also, so like, yea, many also of the Israelites consented to his religion and sacrificed unto idols and profaned the Sabbath, man. So these cave monkeys literally want all the nations to come together under under this cave monkey's rule these edomites and say that they are god and they're gonna bow down to them and follow their lead man and, you know and do everything that they're told man basically being uh like i said you're being branded as their slaves man they're, they're perpetual slaves man point blank period man so let's get the last precept because this is what these cave monkeys is also attempting to do man okay this is also what they're attempting to do let's go to ecclesiasticus chapter 23 because they this is this is this is something that they that they want to do man all right this is ecclesiasticus chapter 23 verse 19 such a man only feareth the eyes of men and knoweth not that the eyes of yahweh bahashim yahweh shai are ten thousand times brighter than the sun beholding all the ways of men and considering the most secret parts man so this is what they're attempting to do. They want to put that chip in you so they can know when you're having sex, when you when you're taking a pee, when you're taking a shower, when you're at work, when you're where you're where you're at, where you're moving, what you're thinking, etc. Man, they want to be like the most high, man. So if they put that chip in you, that, that's basically setting their eyes on every single person that they have chipped. Okay, to be like the most high. That's the plan, man. Okay, and matter of fact, you know what one just came to my mind? Let's close out with that. Because in the midst of these cave monkeys, these silverback gorillas doing all this, they truly think that the Most High is with them. So let's get the precept on that. We're going to close out on that. All right, we're going to go straight to the point. Uh, Psalm chapter 50. Psalm chapter 50, starting off at verse 21. 
These things hast thou done, and I kept silence. Thou thoughtest that I was altogether such as one as thyself, but I will reprove thee, and set them in order before thine eyes. Now consider this, ye that forgot the Most High. Least I tear you in pieces, and there be none to deliver. So that, that recompense, that reproval, that judgment is at hand. Okay, so man, look. If anybody is teaching that the RFID microchip is not the mark of the beast, if they're saying it's a spiritual mark, when there is nothing spiritual about this man, this man, well, he's not even a man, he's valid in the earth. This cave monkey is carnal. This cave monkey is 144% carnal. So everything that he do is going to be carnal, including the mark of the beast, man, which is the RFID microchip, all right? So man, Adawan Rataza just was edifying, uplifting, and I pray it was edifying and uplifting to the hopeful elect. I hope it builds your faith, your trust, your belief, and your hope in Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. So with that, I'm going to say, Koholayim La, Albanawa, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rukhakwadash, Kwam Yasharala, Wa Ababa Ball Shalom. You boys accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Yes. Yeah, he's great. Cool guy. Praise the Lord and pass the ammunition.